Welcome back, folks. I'm Jake Ellenbogen. Today, we're going to be talking about Zach Evans and wrapping up the running back room. Basically, my thoughts on Evans, um, how I see it playing out in 2024 for him and maybe beyond. Before we dive into it, be sure to like, subscribe and comment. Also, be sure to follow me on all social media, including Instagram at JK Bogan. Let's get into it. So, Zach Evans, a 5'11", 200-plus pound running back, a former sixth-round pick. The Rams traded up with the Bills to acquire at 215th overall in the 2023 class. Evans has a lot of potential. A lot of fans would tell you that. A lot of fans told me that all last season. However, he was not ready, and I don't think he's ready yet. I'm going to explain my thoughts here because this is a 23-year-old running back who a lot of people really think can contribute right away. That might be the case in some capacity, but the problem is with the NFL, the things that you're really good at in college, like you know, obviously being able to run the football and being able to get to the second level and make teams pay with your overall speed, that gets diminished a little bit. Because a 4-5-40 is what he ran at his pro day. And I'll tell you right now, a 4-5-40 time will have you running by just about everybody in college football. But when you get to the NFL, a lot of guys are running 4-5-40s. So why am I saying that? Well, it's not just a, you know crap on Zach Evans. He's got a lot of ability. And I am decently intrigued by his potential. I like the pick when they made it. And I think he's got talent. The reality is he still lacks in one very key area. And that area is, of course, pass protection. It's going to be the death of him getting on the field, okay? If you cannot pass protect, no, Sean McVay and company is not going to trust you to go out there and basically keep Matthew Stafford guessing, okay? You want to make sure when you have a guy like Matthew Stafford and any quarterback for that matter, you want to make sure that when you go out there, you send a running back out there, he can protect a quarterback if need be. Now, Zach Evans, like I mentioned, he's got prototypical size for the running back spot. Great size. He ran a 4.5, which is a good speed time, right? Um, played at TCU, also played at Ole Miss. He finished his career at Ole Miss, was a transfer from TCU, was benched. Okay, so that is something to keep in mind. But Evans last year only had nine carries for 19 yards. And uh, a lot of that was due to the fact that he could not pass protect. So did he get better this offseason? We don't know. I couldn't tell you. OTAs aren't really going to tell me much, and I'm not at them anyway. So training camp is when we'll start to hear. We'll start to learn. We'll hear things. We'll see things, especially in preseason. We're going to see if Zach Evans has improved his game. This is what ultimately was the deciding factor from whether or not Cam Akers was going to reach his full potential with the LA Rams. Had nothing to do with the injury because we saw him. He struggled to come back from the injury initially, but of course, two years ago, we saw Cam Akers go just absolutely berserk towards the end of the season when they switched to, they switched to more of a gap scheme run scheme. However... The biggest issue always remained. Cam Akers never got better as a pass protector. Kyron Williams did, and so Kyron Williams eventually supplanted him to the point where he made him expendable, and the Rams were able to trade him away to the Minnesota Vikings. With Zach Evans, this is another issue. I thought Evans was very similar to Cam Akers coming out of college. Also, Cam ran a 4-5, but... I think Evans absolutely loves being a Ram. The vibe is there. I think he could turn this thing around, okay? it's. I mean, I don't even want to say that because he's, yes, okay, he had nine carries for 19 yards. It's not very good. He only had nine carries. It was his rookie year. So I know they drafted Blake Corum and they got Boston Scott and, of course, Kyron Williams. But if you want to be an optimist in regards to Zach Evans and his future, think about this. Kyron Williams could be in the third to last year of his deal, okay? And what I mean by that is next year, Kyron Williams' contract, that's it. That's his last year of his deal. Does he get brought back? If he doesn't, can't, you know, you look at a guy like you know Zach Evans, he moves up the rungs a little bit unless they draft another guy. Blake Corum has had some injury concerns going back to college. Same thing with Kyron, by the way. So that's something to keep, in mind, uh, keep an eye on. Boston Scott was only a one-year deal, okay? Then you have Ronnie Rivers, one-year deal. Zach Evans, 
is not out of the, you know, he is just, he's not out of this thing, okay? He, I'm not giving up on this guy. I'm not saying he's the greatest thing since sliced bread, and I'm not going to act like I haven't been critical of his game in the past. But at the same point, I get why people like this guy. I get why they're potentially excited for what he can do. And we've seen, it doesn't matter where you're drafted, folks. It doesn't matter if you are drafted. The reality is the Rams are going to give this guy an opportunity if he earns it. So, this is a key thing to look out for when it comes to Zach Evans. Does he improve his pass protection? We're going to find out in preseason. If he does, I think without a shadow of a doubt, he is going to 100% make this roster over Ronnie Rivers, which I have already predicted, by the way. The last video I did on Ronnie Rivers, I had Zach Evans supplanting him for that fourth spot. I don't think they're going to keep five, although I think Rivers could be back on the practice squad. But Evans possesses a speed that really is not seen on this team. Blake Corum ran decently well, but I think Zach Evans is more explosive and he's faster and has more long speed and home run hitting ability than a guy like Blake Corum, okay? That's just the reality. That's how I see it. Um, now you look at Boston Scott. He's got that speed though, but he's more of a returner. So, and he's not, you know, he doesn't have a long deal, okay? There's three more years, including this year, three more years of Zach Evans at the very least. So I think Evans has an inside track here where he could do enough this off season. You know, he might be the fourth guy going into this year, but injuries happen, one. And two, the Rams can easily find out if they see in the off season, if they see in training camp, if they see in preseason, and they see a guy that is working his tail off to improve as a pass protector and it's working out, he's going to have a spot on this roster for the foreseeable future. So my thoughts on Evans in 2024, work on pass protection, and you have to add something to special teams. Right now, Ronnie Rivers is the better football player because I haven't seen Zach Evans and what he can do based on, you know, today, right? However, with that being said, Evans has the chance, just like any player, has a chance to go into preseason training camp and show what he can do. And if he's improved enough, Ronnie Rivers is going to be in some trouble if they're only keeping four running backs, like I believe. Now, it's not guaranteed. They could absolutely keep five, but I just don't see it. I think there's a lot of positions where they're going to want to keep, you know, an extra guy here and an extra guy here. And you can get away with it with like trimming the fat of the roster. But if this is a roster that's going to have Stetson Bennett and Jimmy Garoppolo, you probably can't keep five running backs. Right. So that's something to keep in mind. Looking at Zach Evans, I think the Rams have a talented running back who can help you, you know, be that change of pace home run hitter guy. But at the same time, I think he has the willingness to get better. Everything that I've ever heard about this guy is that he's a positive dude. The Rams like him. He likes the Rams. He loves being a Ram. You know, he's like a kid in a candy store when he got a chance to meet Matthew Stafford early on last year. Um, he's got the right mindset. And regardless of what happened in college, because everyone just assumes he had an attitude problem, maturity issue, it's why he fell in the draft. A lot of people said he had maturity issues. Well, it doesn't feel that way right now at the Rams. The Rams really do like him. A lot of players like him. People that I've spoke to really like him. They think highly of him. So don't write off number 21, Zach Evans. There's a very good chance that he's going to be, you know, taking some handoffs this year and for the foreseeable future. But of course, the big thing is he has to improve at the little things. He has to be able to pass protect. He has to be able to get better as a receiver, and he just has to add value in special teams. If he does those three things, it's going to be really hard to cut this guy, and he's probably going to be around for a decent amount of time, but we'll see what ends up happening. Those are my thoughts. We wrap up the running back room and a final depth chart prediction at the end of training camp and preseason I will drop right now for you. Kyron Williams will be the number one running back. Blake Corm will be number two. Boston Scott will be number three. Zach Evans takes over the four spot. And Ronnie Rivers will be five and will likely be on the practice squad. I think they're going to cut him. I think they're going to keep Zach Evans. Keep an eye on number 21. He might turn out to surprise you. But that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, be sure to follow me on all social media at JK Bogan. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, folks. Later. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? 
Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.